Hi, I am Yasser Arfat. I am here with another maths video for class 10 CBSC students. I welcome all of you to this video. Trigonometry Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In the last video, we have started chapter number 9, some applications of trigonometry and I gave you a brief introduction. What are the applications of trigonometry and some terms we discussed. In this video onwards, we will start solving height and distance problems. So what are the prerequisites of doing such problems are? You should study the previous chapter very well. Introduction to trigonometry, the trigonometric ratios the concepts and the trigonometric values of 30 degree, 60 degree, 45 degree. In this chapter, we will restrict questions to 30 degree, 60 degree, 45 degree angles only. But in higher classes, you will study problems with the other angles also. If you are watching my video first time, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my videos, don't forget to press the like button and also share this video to your friends. So let's come to the video. When we raise our uh, eye to look at some object on the top, then we will call the angle formed between horizontal level and the line of sight as angle of elevation. And when we look at down, it is called angle of depression. Okay, these terms we want to use. Okay, so now we'll uh, discuss some problems. Very simple problem. Okay, example number one is here. Okay, you read the question. A tower stands vertically on the ground from a point on the ground, which is 15 meter away from the foot of the tower. The angle of elevation of the top of the tower is found to be 60 degree. Find the height of the tower. Okay, question is very simple. A tower is standing vertically. Vertically means that will make a 90 degree angle with the fall. And uh, next point is a point on the ground, which is 15 meter away from the uh, foot of the tower. Uh, the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is found to be 60 degree. From a point, the, the, in the picture it is marked as C. That point is 15 meter away from the foot of this tower. And the angle of elevation from that point to, uh, to the point on the top of the tower is 60 degree that is given and the question is to find the height of the tower okay so uh, sometimes there may be no picture no picture in the question so from this given statements in the question you want to draw a triangle like this maybe one line enough for the tower uh, at a 15 meter distance you put a point c then join c to a and mark the angle of elevation so we are looking to the top. So we want to mark uh, angle of elevation will come right. Okay. So, uh, okay, here there is no height of man observer. So you want to take the height of the man observer or man only if that is mentioned in the question. Otherwise you can simply draw a triangle like this, no problem. Okay. So how we can calculate the height of the tower from this right angle? Tan 60 equals 60. Tan 60 is equal to right. Tan 60. So we, we all know we have studied the trigonometric values of uh, uh, 60 degree, 45 degree and uh, 30 degree and 0 degree and 90 degree also that uh, we don't want in this lesson. But we will use this uh, those table we made 60 degree, 45 degree and uh, 30 degree. I, and I had told you some trick, two triangles. You, if you memorize those two triangles, you can form all the, all those values. Okay. So here in this right triangle, uh, you can write here uh, AB is equal to tower, something like so. You can write and uh, CB is the distance from the tower, and AC is the line of sight. Line of sight. That those all you want to, you can write. Uh, not, not compulsory. Okay. And uh, second thing, okay, so then you start from the right triangle, from the triangle in the picture or from triangle, from triangle ABC, 
you simply apply tan tan 60 in this picture what is tan 60 root 3 ab by c okay and the value okay from the triangle with the side ab by bc ab by bc, by BC. AB by AB by BC, right? Okay. AB by BC will come. AB by BC. Okay. And here, uh, why we use tan? Why 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 not sine or cos? Because the need hypotenuse. The given value and the we have to find. Yes. Yes. Okay. So here, hypotenuse is not given, and we don't want to find hypotenuse. Okay. So here, uh, the opposite side of angle C, we need to find, and the given value is the adjacent side of the angle C. So we want to take the trigonometric ratio having the opposite side and adjacent side. That is tan, right? That's why we take tan 60. In some questions, uh, coming question, uh, some AC, the hypotenuse may be also uh, needed to calculate. In some situation, you want to use cos or sin, which is appropriate. Okay. So here we can apply uh, the given values and uh, the value of tan 60. What is tan 60? Root 3. Root 3, right? Root 3. Root 3 will come. The idea I have already told before. Uh, you, if you remember these numbers, the ratio in simplest form in the lowest terms like this. One is to suppose this is 60 degree and this is 30 degree. If you take the smallest side as 1, then the hypotenuse will be 2 and the uh, side opposite to 60 will be root 3. So if you know this numbering, you can take tan 60 is equal to the side of opposite to 60 is root 3 divided by the side adjacent to 60 degree that is 1. So root 3 by 1 is simply root 3. So we can write here root 3 instead of tan 60. AB we don't know, so simply write AB. And BC we know that is 15 given. Okay. So simply take 15 to left side, you will get it. A, B is equal to 15 root 3. 15 root 3. Okay. So we can stop here. I use the unit. Given unit is in meters. Yes, 45 also we had discussed. Yeah, table we want to memorize. Otherwise, you simply memorize these pictures. From these pictures, you can make all those values. So suppose we take in a 45, 45 degree triangle, suppose we take uh, the one of the perpendicular side one, then what will be the second perpendicular? One. What will be the hypotenuse? Root two, two. right? Root two, right? So the uh, ratio between the sides of a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle is one is to one is to root two. So tan 45 will be one by one, and sine 45 will be one by root two. So if you know this triangle, so this you, you don't have to draw. You can imagine this triangle in your mind and you can write the ratio, write the uh, values. Okay, 5 root 3, we finished here. So Is in, there anything for yes. 10, 30? 10, 30? 10, 30. For in the first triangle you look, uh, 30 degrees here. So tan 30 means side opposite to 30 degree angle divided by adjacent side of uh, 30 degree angle. So how will come side opposite to 30 degree in this triangle is marked as 1. So 1 by the adjacent side of 30 degree is root 3. So 1 by root 3. Tan 30 is 1 by root 3 from this triangle. So in some case, in some problems, it may ask to uh, calculate uh, the values uh, uh, correct to decimal places, correct to uh, meters and correct to centimeters like so. Sometimes the value approximate value of root 3 may be given inside the bracket in the question. Mm -hmm. In such all cases, you can give the approximate value of root 3 and then multiply. Otherwise, no problem. You can simply stop the... Okay.